Hello everyone. One thing that the majority of us have in common is that we're using Windows. Some people are still using Macs, that's fine. But I use Windows and I wanted to share with the other Windows users some of the shortcuts that I use to navigate through Windows when it comes to programming in Kibscam. I'm gonna start with the Start menu. Here's the Start menu here. You can see in the Start menu they have these tiles. The tiles are for what Windows now calls apps, but they're really programs. You can add and subtract tiles here by just dragging and dropping. Over to the left is a list of all of your apps. I can just grab any one of those and drag it over into the Start menu. To get rid of it, I just right mouse button click and click Unpin from Start. The other thing you can do is you can create new categories and then rename them like I did here. You can see I've got two of my Gibbs Cam installations and my SolidWorks and I named that CAD Cam. You can also resize this by dragging it if it's too big or too small or too much. What I found is the default is pretty small, so I end up having to scroll through and find it. At that point, I might as well scroll through here. So I make it just a little bit bigger to fit all of my apps in. So let's go ahead and open up Gibbscam. Now when it comes to opening files in Gibbscam, there's a, a few, many different ways to do it. One of which is saying file open, just like every other program in the world. So we come down here, and you know this is great because it separates all of my Z VNC files and maybe my CAD files. That was a pretty easy folder to navigate through, but let me go ahead and open up my parts. And this is something that we're all used to. And you know, you have all of these parts, which one's which, what does what, but here are all my VNC files. But what if I want to look at a bunch of different files, be it VNC, um, SolidWorks file, Solid Edge file, things like that. I, there's no way to list all. So what I like to do is I like to open up a separate Explorer window. That's this window here, like a navigation window, if you call them that. One of the easy ways to do this is you press the Windows key and then E, and that will automatically open up an Explorer window. At this point, I can navigate to my parts folder and I have everything listed. Now what I want is I want to split my screen between my Gibbs cam and my Explorer window. So I can just drag my Explorer window till it pops like that and then let go of it. And now it gives me a choice of what I would like to split that window with. I'm going to go ahead and just click Gibbs cam. So half of it is my Explorer, half is my Gibbs cam. We can go ahead and just drag and drop, and it opens up. And that doesn't matter if it's a VNC file or a solid part file, it will automatically open up those files inside of Gibbscam. That's a real easy way for me to do this, and then this way you could always have your Explorer window open to your parts folder if you need to open up another one or another instance, uh, things like that. So let's talk about this Explorer window for a second. Just going to bring that back into the middle here. You can see here that I have this preview open on my right hand side. And as I click through this, you can see actually in my on the Gibbs Cam files, not only do I get a preview of the file like the thumbnail, but I also have a little list of the stock size, what version it was made in, and also the MDD that it's associated with. So how do you get this? Let's, let me show you really quick. It's in view. So in Windows 10, they really improved this. In View, they've made this pretty common to look like most of the other Windows applications. So right here is Preview Pane. You can turn it on right there. So it's View, Preview Pane. Another thing you can do is you can sort them by file type, date modified, name, things like that. Another thing you can organize them by is by file extension. And the way you do that is you right mouse button click at the top of the window, just where it says, you know, name, date modified, click more. And here's all the ways that you can sort out these files. There's tons of them. So I'm gonna go to file extension and then click okay. This is nice because I'm usually, I usually look for a oh, wait, that's a kids camp package file version of that, or I want to find it's a PDF, but I don't remember what the name is. I need to find it. Here I could just hit file extension and it does the extensions um, in alphabetical order. So here's a couple of CATIA files. 
here's all of my kids camp package files, here's all my SolidWorks, and then my VNC files, and then here's another X sub T and my zip. This is a really easy way for me, a real fast way to organize these files. So now I've got you know two windows open, but let's say we had a bunch of other windows open also. Uh, let's just to go ahead and open all these crazy windows. And you know they're in the background and they're just kind of in the way and I need to click around, I need to find it. it Windows has, or Microsoft, in Windows 10 it's really easy. You can just grab a window by the top and then shake it like I did and it'll close out all of the windows on your screen. And that way you can only deal with one of the windows. So just grab it, move it, and then shake it quickly back and forth and it'll open up all back up again. So if I wanted to check my email real quick, I could just click on my email, which is actually on my other screen, but go ahead and shake it, do whatever I need to do, shake it again, and they all come back up. So that's a really good way. I say that, then I start closing them out manually. All right. So I wanted to go over the file open options real quick in Gibbscam also. So I showed you open, new, close. In Gibbscam 12, we introduced this new interface for opening up files. What we can do is we can actually see a list of the package files, the Gibbscam package files, and the part files that we've opened recently, hover over them, get a nice little thumbnail, and then open them from there. If I work on one part often, let's say, for instance, I'm always using this Mori model, I can come right up here and say, pin this file. So every time I open Gibbscam, this is going to be pinned right here. The other thing I could do is there's this little file, it says open file location. So it won't just open the file, it'll open the folder that that file is in. And then last but not least, you can click the X if you just want to remove that file. There's a couple here that the links are broken because I've moved them. So I can just go ahead and delete those. Also, these are your commonly used folders. You can open up imported parts, my desktop parts. So I, this is where I, most of my parts are. I can open up the file from there. If you want to see less of this, or if you don't want to see that pop up, I can just close out my recent files. I can actually close out my pin files. If you never use them and you're sick of seeing them, you can do that. Um, the other, you know, if you want them back, just come over, click those little side arrows, and then they'll open up. So those are some of the tricks. There's one last one I wanted to show you real quick is changing the name of a file. This is something, I have big fat fingers and it's hard for me to maybe always, sometimes I'll end up wanting to change it like that, what they call heavy clicking. So I click on it, I hold it down a little bit and let go of it, and it does that. Sometimes when I do that, I end up double clicking, oh my gosh, I don't wanna open it. I just wanna change the name. If you wanna change the name, you just click on it once and hit F2 on your keyboard. And then you can just type in whatever you'd like to change the name of that, which is a lot faster than coming here and saying rename and then doing that. Again, you just click on it once, hit F2, and you can change the name of the file. That's just a little bit of the shortcuts that I've learned uh, in Windows over the years. I'm sure you guys have a lot. If you do have more, please go ahead and share them in the comments. Um, I'll try and make another one with some of the best suggestions from everyone out there. If you have any questions about navigating through Gibbscam and generally Windows, please feel free to talk to either your IT department, your local reseller, or go ahead and give our support staff a call. Thank you so much.